Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for Motorsport Manager. We are continuing our challenge series, and uh, we've got about four races left here in this season. Uh, still trying to play it kind of safe and easy, just really focusing on the headquarters right now, although at the moment uh, we have built, I think, all the buildings we're going to build in the headquarters this season, and we are starting to work on some of the parts designs for, for next season. So we'll uh, keep that going. I know technically you can send uh, two parts over to the next season, but I've just been kind of focused on just building one, uh, at least just to get a little bit of a trickle of, of improvement each season. So we'll kind of keep that up at the moment. Uh, I don't really care about the interview. Fine, I'll take the interview. Uh, did you struggle to find the right setup? Still gain plenty of knowledge. Apparently that's all they cared about. Uh, looks like we didn't have any mistakes. That's good. Michelle Cooper, resource hog. That's not good. Hates leading radio show. I mean, she's got a lot of bad stuff. Lots of bad things. I mean, not that we were in the market for a new driver anyway, but it's just interesting to see some of these drivers come through. Kind of what they have going for them or or not, maybe. This is more accurate. Uh, actually, you, you have a lot of room to improve. A uh, decent amount to improve. I mean, adaptability is terrible. Beth Ch Chulis hates intermediates. Interesting. That's that's kind of an interesting uh, negative there. All right. Um, let's go check out our pit crew real quick. We'll check out the fatigues and things. Um, the burnt out. That is not great. So we probably need to get us some more pit crew. I mean, I know we're getting late in the season. It's just getting to the point where they're just they are just starting to get just too fatigued. Um, you're really bad. Like, why are you even here? Did I, did I pick you up? That seems really, I mean, their stats don't go down when they're fatigued, do they? Because why would I have hired someone who's at a seven? That feels, feels a little weird. Um, let's go check out, see who else we have. Got a couple, some 11s here. Not half bad. Now, how many more people can we grab? We can grab... Uh, actually it looks like we might be full, but what we'll do is we'll just hire some people and we'll substitute them in for some of the people that we definitely don't want. Like you, we definitely do not want you. We're not allowed to have a very deep bench, uh, even though we, we do use a lot of people in the races themselves, which is kind of interesting. Um, you're you've got some 13s, you got 14s. You have 10 is your highest. Honestly, we probably could lose you and I wouldn't cry too much. Uh, you could go away. Dixon here. Dixon can definitely go away. Um, let's move Dixon, or just temporarily. Uh, we're going to move Dixon down to here. So if I hire... I mean, you're not like the most amazing, and your stamina is really low. So you're already coming with a kind of a baked-in uh, mis uh, mistake chance. I could hold off and just try to get a better person before the race time. We've got 24 days. Let's definitely reject these people. We're not going to grab these just in case the rejection actually gives us more people. I honestly don't know. I'm going to hold on to you because, I mean, you could serve in an in a emergency kind of situation if I can't find anybody else. Uh, anybody else we need to scout or are we still got one person we're scouting at the moment? Let's just plug in anybody else that we see. Uh, would that be like, can we sort by ability? And would that give us some scout stuff? Or no, nope, it's just going to be. Nope, we only got one person left to scout. Wow, that is. We literally are have scouted everybody. That is fascinating. All right, scouting report finished. Is John William Surwe chaser? Really good driver. Really inexpensive driver. Like he's got a lot of potential. He's not listed as a um, wonder kid, but wow, he's got a lot of good potential. Huh. Interesting. What is Lampang? Lampang is... Oh, they're Endurance. That's pretty cool. Like, would you be interested in that? I mean, I don't, not that we need one, but it's just... You know, you can't, gotta, gotta take those good drivers when you can get them. Finish repairing both cars. Let's go check out the cars real quick. Make sure we are doing the right thing. Um, we've gotten all the reliability that we care about. We're not going to care about the reliability there. It's just really about performance on that one. And we're focusing on the performance that we care about, which is all going to be done before the race is done. So... We are still designing the new part. Yes. Three days, 14 hours. 
fault. It's about 12 dry, 12 dry what? 12 dry tire choices. Okay. I don't think we care. Um, I think we are going to just abstain. Although supposedly this will not benefit me because I struggle with tire wear. All right, we'll vote against with just one power. We'll just assume that, you know, if that's, if that's not going to benefit me, that's not going to benefit me. Uh, but I'm not going to put any more voting power than that. If it gets passed, it gets passed. And it looks like it's probably... Oh, the chairman's going to go... He's going to go four. Of course he's going to go four. I have a feeling he... Does he ever not go four? Seems like that would be kind of his thing. All right, cool. Good enough. I mean, we'll have him. It's not the end of the world. That's what it is. I mean, we'll, we'll start working on our tire wear in the near future anyway so it's not going to be a, a negative for us for forever uh let's go make sure we're designing a new part uh we have done what have we done um we've done the brakes the engine the gearbox and this actually we've done one of everything do we want to go ahead and do a second of everything we got four races left we got a lot of time we're actually getting a decent amount of money and i did say i think i want to start pushing next season a bit more we're gonna go ahead and plug you in there and there that's fine i mean we'll trickle the reliability but i'm not too worried about it yeah, i don't think anything changes there um i mean we can go a second round of everything just to really get us a lot further up uh what we probably will do actually is what is it that we are we're worse on everything right like dead last literally everything so it really almost doesn't matter um so yeah we'll just we'll just go through the list again all right 25 to max i think is fine we're gonna have plenty of time to bump it up i believe uh 30 i guess we'll go to 40 to max it's gonna take five days longer but it's still a really good part so i think this is gonna be what's best for us what is it you're i mean you're bad at everything but you are a designer that has a lot of growth and so we're hoping that you grow into being good at a lot of things we'll find out um can't go ahead and take the great slot no i can't that doesn't help me at all. Uh, if I start with that, that doesn't really. Yeah, nothing, none of this helps me uh, in that regard. Okay, we'll do that. And I think that's going to be a good part for us. Uh, it's going to get us up to 198, which, you know, not bad considering our current best is pretty, pretty low. I think I'm okay with spending a little more money leading into the end of the season, especially since we have so much more time to still continue to improve these and really get them maxed out. Give us a good chance, a fighting chance next season to, to not be enemies, maybe dead last. But I had a, kind of a thought of, of a different strategy that we might take. And what I'm what that would be would be go ahead and push to be first in this league. Um, and then if we still think that we need some more headquarters buildings to to really give us a fighting chance in the uh, later leagues, uh, then we could just not get promoted. We could just say, no, let's not promote. Let's just stay and milk that first place finish. Get the... Get the sponsor money. Get the stuff like that. Because some of these sponsor money things, I mean, can you imagine if we were just able to get, I mean, this one's not very good. There we go. Um, upfront payment, 200. Bonus pull-up, 1.4 million per race. A 4X for any United States races. Do we have any? We don't have any currently, but we can, maybe we could get a United States race on the on the list or something. Um, can you imagine getting that much money for, a, for a, a second or above? Like if we could just milk that, even just the 1.4 million, if we could just milk that for a season or so, we would have so much money, we would get all the headquarters buildings we wanted. So maybe we should have pushed for that originally, but I'm not I'm not unhappy with the strategy we took, but I think it is time to start pushing. Um, I'm not feeling myself lately. Uh, if, we, uh, if we tell her to go rogue, she just, um, um, she doesn't get uh, directions anymore, which is probably okay. So let's just try that. Gives her the renewed passion. What, how, long, how long does the renewed passion last? last 20 weeks so it might still be there next season i actually don't know i'll have to find out but that'd be kind of nice to just start the season with a little bit of extra oomph if you will bricks design about to be finished we will check the gotta remember to check the pit crew before i go into the actual race all right so brakes are done um, we're going to go ahead and add that to the improved parts list, which currently is still going to get finished before the race. Although now it's not because of course I swap things around. Um, if we are designing another, well, the suspension is about to drop in anyway, so it's really irrelevant. 
Um, let's go ahead and design another part then. So that gets us uh, two brakes. I mean, this one goes up to 198. It's pretty good. That's pretty high up there um, compared to our other stuff. That's double this one right here, more than double. Uh, let's go ahead and get us a suspension. And yeah, we'll go for the plus 25 to max, which doesn't mean we have to work on it, but we've got plenty of uh, factory workers that can do that. Uh, plus 40 to max, plus 25. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take the plus 40, right? Which interestingly enough, none of these are, these are actually aren't uh, risky parts. That's fine. I mean, we obviously need more money before we can do anything else after that. But we'll get some from the next race. Port. Current driver lineup. That's oh, fine. I was like, yeah. I was like, who's, who? yeah. I was, like, I was thinking that was our, one of our drivers that we've gone after. Trucks. Man, better overtaking, better marketability. I will take it. I mean, overall team marketability is... Uh, we're up to, we can go up to 98%. We're only at 82.3 now, but still pretty good, honestly. We're about to get another sponsor objective after this next race, which is pretty nice. There's Phoenix. There's an American race right there. Tandala. All right. Uh, let's go check out our pit crew. And thankfully, some of them have come back down. I think, because I think we had a, well, maybe not, but maybe we, maybe they are about the same. Um, so do we have any new ones? We don't. So let me see what I can do with what I've got here. And then maybe we bring that person in. Honestly, though, we're getting close to the end of the season. I don't know if it's super critical. I do want to swap some things around here to make sure we get like the right people in place. You're burnt out. What does burnt out mean? Does that just mean you're lower on stuff? I mean, you're, Mistake percentage is actually not that high. All right, so our best rear jack is actually you. Or you, but you're tired. Let's move you up there and see what that does for us. Uh, our best front jack is technically this person, um, which I think we'll start with that. Well, obviously, we have to jack. We have to use the jacks. That's that's critical. I don't care about the fixing. We'll save that for last. Uh, best tires with the 14, 13 are obviously great. A 10 would be pretty good. A 13 up there is actually really good. Which if we did that, if we put the 12 up here, we can move the 13 into uh, the tires. It gives us some pretty good tires. And then I don't care about the fixing. I do need to get the fuel though. And uh, you're at a 3.6. So you actually would be a little bit better than some of the like the 4.1 up here, but it's not that much better. Maybe it'll be slightly better than the 10 here, or the 4 here, um, which we might as well just do a clean swap there. Tiny, tiny improvement. And then, I mean, I could swap the 12 in here, but that's actually getting rid of one of these guys. It's actually mildly okay. I guess we'll bring the 8 down. Uh, I can actually swap the 8 for the 13 up here and only lower that 10 by a 9, so to a 9. I think that, yeah, that gives us a much better time. Okay, I think this looks good. We'll try this. We've got still a few people that are tired, but honestly, we're getting close to the end of the season, uh, and I think that's okay. Uh, anybody that we want to keep around for sure that, I can't remember if we've renewed everybody's contracts. I think we renewed everybody's contracts at the beginning of the season, so we probably don't need to check until, I mean, I'll check them just real quick just so I can store away in my mind that, yes, I'm good. I can readdress this at the beginning of next season type of thing because we have four races left. I think everybody here, you got five races left, but we still have time to renew you. You have five races left again, so we'll have time to renew you at the beginning of next season. Assuming I remember, which hopefully I do. Okay, a lot of these people have five races left. That's okay. Um, I guess we'll check these while we're at it. Definitely needs to be a better way to check this in the future. I mean, hope. Uh, I mean, obviously this game is kind of old. I don't think I don't see them making any major improvements anytime soon. But it would be a nice to see a, a better way to see it. So there's a bunch of fives. This one I don't care about at all. In fact. As soon as we get a better replacement, we are dropping them out completely. All right. Uh, let's go. And we'll go for you. We will do part fitting because we do have a couple potential new parts that we can sub in. Although they don't have the reliability, so it does not matter. Uh, yeah, you're two, you've got the two best parts there. 
That is a better part, but the reliability is terrible. I know we have Nurse, but... Or no, actually, we don't have Nurse yet, because we haven't gotten it back up yet. I'm looking at the wrong things. I'm supposed to be looking at fit parts. Uh, yeah, same thing there. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine. Yep. As soon as we get the reliability from those, we could use those. But I guess that's really matter at the end of the day. All right, let's go for the race. Tondela. So expect next season to be a little bit slower. I think I'm going to do the practice sessions. I'm going to really start trying to really hone stuff in and really start pushing the pushing things up a bit more. So I think we've been doing about, what, five, six episodes a season uh, currently. So we'll probably bump that up to about 11 episodes a season. So it's going to slow everything quite a bit, you know, down quite a bit. But uh, unless I just do longer episodes, which is a, is a thought. Um, but... I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. That those are, those get to be pretty long episodes, like 40 minute episodes. 45 minutes episodes sometimes. I mean, even these episodes that I'm doing too now sped up can get pretty long. So if I slow things down, it's just going to get even longer. All right, good stuff. Come on, Tondela. Looks like it's going to be a sunny day. Nice and sunny. Looks like it's going to be sunny the whole way through. I'm not going to worry about weight stripping. It really does not matter. In fact, actually, honestly, for this stuff, what happens if I just auto-pick? I'd rather have Nurse than Soft Dyers. But other than that, that's fine. Um, actually, that's interesting. I think I would rather have... Um, well, we get performance and soft tires wearing more slowly. I mean, I'm not, it's not going to matter that much, but it is an interesting thing to try out. Now, so many setups that come up with it just so bad. Uh, that's okay. And then you, yeah, it's fine, whatever. See, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're going for last place, and that's all that matters. You're going to do whatever you want to do, which is fine. One less thing for me to worry about. Oh, already a driver mistake. There you are. That's what you get for doing your own thing. Eh, at least I only have to worry about one driver this whole time. Which is cool. Makes things a little bit easier. I'm glad I gave her a nurse because if she decides to go crazy on the you know, the tacking and stuff like that, that she'll you know, it'll, it'll wear down a little bit slower. Wow, it is a pretty warm day, huh? 78 degrees, I mean, I guess warm enough, because let's we'll drop this down to conserve. <laughs> Our drivers are so bad compared to everybody else. Especially at this point in the race, this season, because everybody else has just been so, has advanced so much. Or two, we should be able to pit in here in a second. Surprised with your less wear on softs that you are actually wearing out on softs as much as you are. All right, we're going to pit you and 18 laps. Wow, that, apparently that more slowly, which is so bad in general that it's just not helping at all. And it's possible we could do one of these and then one of these sets, probably. But then we probably won't have the fuel for both of those. I mean, we went eight laps. We do another eight laps at 16. No, we should be fine. Let's do another set of that. I don't know why I care. It's not really going to matter. Is it? Very much in last place. Really, lady? Did you just have to go crazy there? You're going to have no fuel. But that's your own fault. <laughs> Um, I guess we can do sauce for you as well. You had, I thought, at least two laps of fuel when I clicked her pit. What did you do? It's like you barely might have been able to make it. 
guess we have to pitch you a little bit sooner since you're unpredictable. Oh, I guess I can move you up to high and push a little bit just, just to get you going. Look, a fat guy goes through hot dogs. Wow, that's just great. Man, we are so slow compared to... It's not that we're slow compared to the first place people. I expect to be slow compared to the first place people. It's just that we're so slow compared to everybody. <laughs> it's so funny. Next season will be different, though. Hey, we've got the best headquarters. So, I mean, right? That's a thing, isn't it? There's a, there's a trophy for the best headquarters at the end of the year, isn't there? Pit after you cross the line here. And we got nine laps left, so we'll go ahead and just swap to mediums for the last little bit. Fill up. Just what we don't think about. It's all good. And go. I mean, it's kind of nice not to have to think about the other driver a little bit. Oh, they're a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, you actually might be able to. It's funny that you, have, you do not have the less wear on softs, but you just have better wear, which I think is smoothness, I want to say. Um, so we could probably actually bring that on soft, and you'll probably just be just fine. I'm not going to give you quite that much fuel. Uh, go up to high and push. I have actually a lot of fuel. I'll probably just at least take at least one gallon out of there, or one lap out of there, I should say. Down to neutral, we'll leave you on push for a while. Or high, I mean. I mean we're getting laps, so we're definitely going to have plenty of fuel. Hey, we're not going to be last place. Winning. I guess we'll go up to overtake at this point. Tons of fuel. <laughs> We're so bad. Look how bad we are. Oh, it's hilarious. At this point, it's just a ma matter of just finish the race, get our money, and do what we got to do. I think next season will be a lot different, though. I mean, will it still be last place? Maybe. But I don't think we're going to be last place by this much. Let's put it that way. And if we are, then, whew, bad things. Right, we we'll probably will just start building parts from the very, very beginning of the season, honestly. Uh, I'll make invest a little bit into the car, not too much. I want to get the things that might increase a little bit of a. Sometimes you can get the parts or the uh, chassis, you know, components that uh, give you more improvability. Uh, that will be what we would be focusing on because we want to improve as much as we can, so we kind of really set up ourselves for for good parts for you know subsequent seasons. Yeah, we'll just get through these last couple of races and it's going to be okay. Next season will be hopefully less boring. I don't know, maybe this isn't as boring as I think it is, but it's not boring to me. I actually enjoy this, but I'm just afraid it's not making like the greatest, you know, YouTube videos. Uh, there's a 1.7 mil. Wow, you just dropped down a lot. Did you just get hurt somehow? Um, I, didn't, I should have checked. I should have stayed there and watched to see what the improvements were or the reductions, I should say. Yeah, she got hurt. Okay. Makes sense. All right, listening to... Really? Huh. You have 28 months left. Somebody's going to pay a lot of money. Why are you that unhappy with me? I get the dodgy neck. I mean, okay. Maybe she just doesn't like the fact that she's been losing, which is expected, I guess. But there's not much I can do to stop her. I mean, I don't want to renew her contract with 28 months left. Uh, I'm going to say April. At least give her a little bit more happiness. It'd be a shame to lose her. I mean, there's others out there we could go for. So it wouldn't be like the, necessarily the absolute end of the world. It's just going to be unfortunate. Um, we do have some more people we can hire. I mean, some of these are not good on the stamina, though. I got to start think, looking at the stamina as well. Because a great person who's got like a 
20, but has a 50 stamina, it's not going to be good for anything. So we have to, uh, we have to take that into account going forward as well. I'll check the, I'll try and remember to check it before the race starts. Although I don't see, I don't think I noticed that it, anything changed. So I think we can go ahead and change it now and everything will be okay. Um, so you're good on jack fuel and fixing. So let's put you on fuel right there. And then you're good on tires. Which actually would be a pretty good swap right there. And we gotta get rid of you. I mean, anybody on that stay in that slot would be fine. I definitely want to fire you because I don't need you. And I don't remember how. Don't remember how you got hired. Maybe it was just a default one. Um, we'll just grab this guy at the top. That's probably gonna be okay. And honestly, you could probably just plug right into there without any real issues. I'll check up here, anybody that I could swap around a little bit better. You have better refueling and oh, there we go, I'm gonna make that swap. That works out to be a little bit better. Actually, we're less than 10 second uh, pit time. That's pretty good. I think this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we're okay. Good stuff. Um, we're about to get some more sponsors, which is awesome. We're also about to finish our suspension. Also awesome. Let's go get our sponsor money real quick and then we can figure out what part we're going to get. Okay, so eight races, one million up front, 180,000 per, um, nine races, 150. So this one's already better because the upfront divided by eight is could be better than 400 divided by nine. It's just a matter of between these two. 300, it's a long time though. Um, I don't have to grab my calculator because the math in my head it's like what 1.25 it's 1.25 so it's actually 305,000 per race um which is ever so slightly more than 300 per, per race plus i like shorter deal length because sometimes we can get better ones after that so i think this is definitely well worth it. plus the upfront money so i think all around ends up being a really good one for us suspension build finished i'm gonna go ahead and design we got what do we have three races left right yep so we're going to design another part. We're still going to need another gearbox and another engine to get us two for next season. I um, guess we'll grab you. It's going to be a risky part, but that's okay. And I guess we'll grab you. I got, do all the parts have this one? I mean, it takes a little bit longer to build it, but not bad, honestly, um, to get that part out like that. It's pretty good. I mean, it does going to take us a long time to get it, you know, performance up and, and such but uh i think we're gonna be okay like these are gonna finish before you know the race is coming up anyway so by the time that part comes up we're gonna have like nothing to improve oh no we got this down here sorry um which i guess we should just drop that one out put you in you were basically done anyway so this is one day after race so again um it should time out that, you know, by the time that engine comes in, most of these are going to be almost done anyway, which will be a good, good thing to have. And I guess we can just plug that in there just because. Might as well. All right. 18 weeks on our design center, which is pretty awesome. We can then do the, uh, Auto parts, uh, auto, what is it? The factory, whatever it is, the auto, make autos, make cars. <laughs> I forget the name of it all of a sudden. The road car factory, something like that. Designing clothing line, oh, increased marketability. I really want to keep you, my dear. Please get like happy again. How can I make you happy? I guess I can make you happy by making you literally happy because right now you're unhappy going into some of these races. So I need to make sure you are not like that anymore. All right. Seems champion target update. Yes, yes. Make mechanics, I know. Uh, scouting facility, GMA, uh, to vote on removal of weight stripping. Really, we just got that not that long ago. So it's interesting that they already want to remove it. Um, this will be done in one day. So we might as well just let them finish at this point. And then we'll worry about that last piece. 
But all we got left is an engine, right? So I wonder if we have, do we have enough money to do the engine? Uh, these are, this one's 190. Yeah, okay. So make sure I remember the math right. You add the 15 and then you add the 25 to the max. So yeah. And then 20 plus, plus uh, 40 top speed, right? That'll be our best one. Is that 230? 1.65? No, that's plenty of money. Just enough. And that'll be the last of the parts we build uh, this season, I believe. Still last on everything. But I think these num these are starting to fill up a little bit more. Um, anything else to do? I don't think so. Change out the scouts. Uh, we can change everything else. So what we need to do is we need to give her like a really good car. Could just leave her home because honestly, does it really matter? Yeah, why not? We'll let her recover. Doesn't matter, obviously. Well, she's a pay driver, so we are going to lose that money, come to think of it. Um, which, all right, in that case, maybe I should have brought her. Not the end of the world, though. So, no, if her being, a, you know, driving with a dodgy neck, I don't know if that affects her happiness or not. Um, if it does, obviously, we want to try and keep her as happy as possible. What I was going to do, though, is if I brought her, just give her, like, just the absolute best car I could possibly give her, just to make sure that, or give her the best chance of hopefully being happy. Uh, we'll go with that. Start practice. Simulate. It's definitely rainy today, at least for half of the, the run. But we'll see how it is tomorrow. <laughs> we didn't even go out on anything faster than wet, which is kind of interesting. Come on. All right. Um, we we're gonna keep going with the nurse and trim. It's fine. Um, I don't think the soft tires things really help that much. Although we don't need the wet tires, so I don't think. Uh, we might. It's going to get in the intermediates for sure. I don't know if it's going to get quite wet or not. So we'll just go with this. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Tire choice, that's okay. That's okay. And then you. Same thing. Fine, fine. Good, good, good. And then, hey, we're back. Oh, that's right, because it's a different driver. It's like, we're back to being able to control all, both of our drivers. Because they're different. We left the stubborn one at home. Who am I kidding? Even our, uh, our uh, episodes that I try and speed things up are 45 minutes long almost. It's definitely going to be close to 40. See, I don't think we can do more than one race at a time once we uh, slow things down a bit more. So the episodes will just be way too long. Yeah, I guess I can drop you guys down to high. So I can drop you all the way down to conserve. You guys are, or at least you, you're getting into the stuff a bit. All right, I need to pit one of you guys here in just a second. Um. I'll pit you now. So we have 16 laps left. In theory, you can do this. Fill up. All oh, that looks good. Good, good, good. Now we'll go ahead and pit you. Same thing. We should be okay. Let's drop it down to medium. Just, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, you're coming in now. I'll probably go left you on. On the high, but that's all right. It really doesn't matter, honestly. I can just settle you guys in and just not even think about it. Oh, I forgot the rain. Um, I meant to, meant, to, meant to switch you to enters, which we will do here in just a moment. Which might as well go crazy because we're going to pit one of you guys here in just a second. 
Um, go at least one more lap, maybe. How much fuel can we give ourselves? Nine. So if we go one more lap, it's going to be tight, but I think we can go one more lap. Pit you first. Because you're just in last place, because why not? Uh, although you have less. It's not going to matter. We're going to pit both of y'all before time comes up anyway. Enters, fill up. It says nine. This, did I discount? I think I miscounted. I think I want to do a warmer lap after this, although we're going to be whale into the wets. So, not not quite good enough. Um, I think it would have worked out fine if I'd been able to pit that last time, which maybe I should have and just gone slow on the fuel and stuff. Yeah, I probably should have. It doesn't matter. I'm on last place. I don't know why I'm trying at all. Being in last place the whole time. I should definitely not be going crazy. Out on the wets in the wrong tires. And I know it's going to get uh, wet enough to be wet at the very, very end. But that's just going to have to be. We're not going to swap to wets. We're going to be enters for most of this. And we'll just be on the wrong tires for just a minute. Bad refueling. Great. So we definitely don't want you to be that. Just settle in. Alright. There we go. How did you... Did I not put the fuel in? Did I skip over it? I must have. I could have sworn I hit that button. Fill up. Because I could have sworn I... Maybe I must have. It must have skipped right over it. Well, whoops. That's okay. That's really matter. Yeah, I must have just accidentally skipped over it. I mean, I'd be upset if I was, like, actually in a position to, tr to, to do something good. I like that we're getting lapped by... I think we're getting lapped by 18th place, aren't we? Which is hilarious. Got lapped by the pack. At least uh, 20th place did. Of course, he had to do an extra pit for a silly reason, so that, that explains that. All right, well, uh, like I said, one more episode of this kind of, you know, just checking the box, getting it done, getting our money, and then next season will be hopefully a little different. I'm hoping we can start getting a little bit better than 10th. I'd be all, it'd be cool to get like 8th or something as a team. I don't know if that's possible, though. We're pretty far behind. A lot of these teams have had a lot of time to develop their cars, you know, since the beginning of the, the game. So we got a lot of catching up to do. But I think we've set ourselves up to to accelerate pretty quickly once we do start accelerating. She actually improved. I guess it does. she does improve every week just a little bit. It's just funny that she improved anyway. Unfortunately, her morale did not go up at all. Her morale went down. Um, but everything else looks good. A little bit of money. We didn't get the full pay money, but that's all right. We still got a decent amount of money. And there is our save. All right. Well, we're going to go to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will do the last episode of the season. And, uh, I think we're finishing up our last part here at the engine parts. We'll finish up getting all the performance up as much as we can. We're close to the design center. And like I said, I think next season will be a lot different. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite a bit more exciting. So I do appreciate you watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.